This is Timothy Miller here, reporting from the NCNM. Tonight, we will be discussing the hype of quinoa. Is it a fact, or is it fad? First, we will be interviewing Botanist Bob. Botanist Bob, could you please enlighten us on this grain quinoa? Hi, this is Botanist Bob here, and Tim, I'm actually glad that you mentioned that. Quinoa is not a true grain. It's actually a pseudo-cereal. It's not a member of Poaceae, which is the grass or grain family. It's a member of Amaranthaceae, the amaranth family. Its Latin name is Chenopodium quinoa. Quinoa is not only beautiful, but is also historic. It was a staple crop to the ancient Incas, and is translated to literally mean the mother grain. Well Tim, it's been great talking with you, and now back to the NCNM Nightly News. Thank you, Botanist Bob. Now we will be interviewing Dr. Bob, N.D. It's Dr. Bob here, and as you can see, Tim, I've outlined the health benefits and micro and mac macronutrients of quinoa. As you can see, in a half of a cup serving, which is only 310 calories, we get all these macronutrients. 11 grams of protein, 5 grams of fat, 60 grams of carbohydrate, and 5 grams of fiber. As you can see from the micronutrients, it includes so many amino acids. In fact, it includes all 9 essential amino acids that can only be acquired via the diet. In the vitamin content, it includes vitamin A, vitamin B2, vitamin B6, B9, as well as vitamin E, which are very important for antioxidant health. It also contains a multitude of minerals. Of primary concern are manganese, magnesium, iron, and copper. Wow, Dr. Bob, that sounds like an amazing food. Does it have any health benefits? I'm glad that you asked him. There are a number of health benefits that quinoa helps provide. For example, there have been studies conducted showing that whole grains and quinoa-like products have been associated with relief of migraines due to magnesium as well as vitamin B2 concentration. It's been associated with cardiovascular health due to magnesium and a reduction in breast cancer with fiber content. It's also been associated with asthma and gallstone prevention. And in fact, it has antioxidant activity due to manganese and copper, which are associated with increasing the production of superoxide dismutase, which is an antioxidant enzyme. Well, I think that's all I have to report, Tim. Back to you. Thank you, Dr. Bob. Now we're off to Chef Bob, who will be telling us about how to cook and work with quinoa in the kitchen. Hi, Tim. People often wonder what is the best way to cook quinoa, and it actually couldn't be easier. Simply follow the proportions for brown rice. You want to add a cup of water for every single half of a cup of quinoa. Mix in together, turn on the stove, and boil for approximately 15 minutes. You can add quinoa into your oatmeal and have it every day for breakfast. It's a great source of vitamins and minerals. Back to you, Tim. Thank you for sharing your culinary expertise with us, Chef Bob. Well, that's all that we have for you tonight, folks. Hope you made your decision whether this was a fact or fad. That's it for the NCNM Nightly News.